in this video we will create a nuxt application and we'll install the bare minimum dependencies that is needed to get started we will be initializing a nuxt tree application using this command this will create a new directory called to the nuxt tree app we will go inside this directory and do npm install which will install all the npm packages needed once the installation is done, we will open our project in VS Code. In our app.view file, we can see that there is already a component called Nux Welcome. This component is coming from the folder .nux which was created when we were creating our application. We have this configuration file which we will be using later on. In our package.json file, we have the required scripts needed. We have scripts to run our application as well as to generate the required build files. We will run our application using npm run dev. And we can go to this URL to see our Nuxt tree application in the browser. And here it is. We will remove this component. Let's go on and add a default layout. And we can also add uh, Nux pages. We will create a folder called pages. Let's create a new view file which will be index.view and add some custom code. And here we can see our changes reflected. Now let's add a CSS file under our assets folder. We'll go on and add some custom CSS just to check if our CSS file is working. The next thing I need to do is to add the CSS file path uh, in this Nux configuration file. Once this is done, then our CSS file should be working. So let's test it out. And yeah, it seems to be working. Let's go on and add some global CSS variables. These variables will be used throughout our various CSS classes. We will also be installing Google Fonts. To install Google Fonts, once we do npm install, uh, we also do need to use uh, this command in nux configuration file now let's go and uh, test it if our uh, google fonts is working correctly uh, we will be adding it in our font family and we will put a color will we use the uh, we will use the variable that we have uh, declared above which is text primary and we will also add a font size. We can add the font size. Uh, we can declare the font size in the global CSS variable also. And uh, we can use this variable in uh, other classes. I will not test if uh, this variable is working or not. We will change, I will change the, the size of the font and we'll see if it is reflected. Yeah, this is reflected. And we, hence we know that this is working. With this, we have completed the basic setup of our Turu application. In the next video, let's build the UI.